and welcome back for uh, <laughs> another episode of Been Rolling Playing the Old Republic as uh, my recorder decided to crash. Come in, dear Cypher. I was just listening to Lord Ulius' latest opera. Music brightens my day, and we of the Council have few bright days. You can't imagine the burden. I'm sure I can't. So, Fjord Yanel, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? I retrieved Yanol, as you commanded. Oh, Agent. Yanol and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. It'll give me something to look forward to. Think of it. Dream of me, and of your service to me. Really rather not. Whack job. Mind read that off of me. <laughs> oh wait. That's right, you can't. Not without electrifying me. Alright, so... Yeah. Now to go back to my ship. Ran all this way for... Not even a minute of dialogue. Oh god, th this storyline is seriously going to drive me insane. I literally think that is the end result that they were going for with this. First, let's force me to return to Narshada, then make me run through Drum and Kass, which of course there is no easy way to uh, traverse a planet, as the... Uh, there is no point A to point B. Ready for departure. As you can see, I can't go straight to spaceport. No, I have Enjoy to go into the city, then walk out of the city in order to fly to the spaceport. Uh, and meanwhile, the recording decides to fail on me. So, instead of having, you know, okay, a 40 minute video, now I've got a 30 some odd minute one, and now I'm at, what, two minutes? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I will save you the, uh, well, lackluster run back to the spaceport, and uh, wait till I get to my ship. All right, back at the ship. Uh. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be as upset if the recording for the last episode didn't fail like it did. But, uh, yeah, it's just compounding the issue at hand, I suppose. And Baron's chat is alive and well on uh, Drum and Kaz, as they're talking about exposing themselves and <laughs> other things. Alright, back to the Hollow Terminal. Always a pleasure, Master. I hope you're having an excellent day and feel no desire to deactivate. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantled the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terran network went into overdrive. How are they responding exactly? Increased chatter, transfer of goods, activation of safe houses. Fascinating, really. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Listen to his voice. 
He has no idea what we can do to him. You may be right, but that's no guarantee of success. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. And there we go. Missions to Tatooine and Alderaan. As would be expected. And all new junk. And it looks like uh, Kelly is finally ready to chat with us. Um, or is she? She is not. Okay. Well then. I don't know why that's bugged then. Because she was supposed to talk to us. But whatever. Alright, so we're done here. I thank you for watching. And tune in next time as we will head to Tatooine. And, uh, yeah, start the party. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.